The Chinese represent a proud and ancient civilization uh, which is too proud to bend its knee before an oppressor who wants to rule the world. You can do business with the Chinese, yes, but you cannot cannot force them to bend their knee before you. An arrogant, a warmongering uh, United States of America has now seems to be driven to madness by the touch of Satan, taking mm. their stupid attempts to rule the world over Venezuela. But they don't understand. They will never understand because they devoid of knowledge now. The rest of Europe are laughing at them. You cannot bring regime change to Venezuela unless you can kill a million Venezuelans. When will you understand that? They have lost the capacity to think. The Chinese have not lost the capacity to think. And the Chinese are moving forward with, with political, military, economic, monetary initiatives which are intelligent and sensible. While from, from Washington, all you're getting is stupidity. China by itself cannot stand up militarily to the West. So obviously, from the time the Soviet Union collapsed and Russia re-emerged re with its authentic spiritual heart, the Russian Orthodox Christian faith will never bend its knee. The Orthodox Christian says we prefer the turban of the Sultan to the hat of the cardinal when Constantinople was about to fall. That's what they said. We prefer the turban of the sultan to the cardinal's hat, meaning we prefer to be slaves of Muslims, but we'll not join you, join with you, and give up our orthodox Christian faith. Mm -hmm. So when China mm -hmm. saw that returning to Russia, you can trust this Russia now, that this Russia will not betray you. Mm -hmm. That this Russia remain firmly resisting the oppressors of the world. The Chinese recognize that they could trust this Russia. Yeah. Because this Russia is sincere in its heart. It's Orthodox Christian, it's not the Soviet Union. And so one of the amazing phenomena of modern contemporary international relations is the establishment of this amazing alliance between China and Russia.